Reading police have arrested a man for allegedly beating his eight-year-old son in the head with an aluminum baseball bat. It's a shocking crime that has rattled the community. Action News reporter Elizabeth Gadley joins us live from the Reading Broadcast Center. She's just gotten back from speaking with those who tried to help the boy and with police about this man's criminal past. Elizabeth. Linda, Kira, what makes this crime even more shocking is the fact that authorities, authorities believe the boy was actually asleep in his bed when his father attacked him with the bat. I saw a little boy in a lady's arms and he was just laying there, it looked like he was kind of dead. And so I ran over there and first thing I thought was like, his head's bleeding. 17-year-old Heather Carr was one of the first people to help the badly beaten boy. She wrapped her blanket around the child who was bleeding profusely and drifting in and out of consciousness. Carr lives next door and says the boy often plays with her younger cousins. And I thought, because he, he always plays without his parents outside, I thought, um, I thought something happened like he got hit with his car or something, but I guess the dad hit him with a bat. Jeffrey Kelly is now charged with attempted murder. He did admit that, in fact, that he'd hit the child a couple times with a baseball bat. Um, never really gave any reasoning on why he assaulted the child. Captain Scott Mayberry says Kelly has a criminal history that includes prior crimes against a child. He has been arrested for a willful injury or cruelty to a child. Also, he has uh, a few assaults, uh, assault on police officers and other types of uh, uh, assaults on his, on his criminal history. Captain Mayberry says they're still looking into the past charges. He's not sure if the previous crime involved this particular boy. And when we asked him how a person with these types of convictions would be allowed to see the boy, here's what he told us. And, unless there's uh, uh, a court order or injunction or something with child or children family services or, or a parole uh, condition, uh, there's nothing that precludes a, a, a parent or a guardian from having their children with them. The boy's mother was at home at the time, but authorities don't believe she was involved in the attack. The child was taken to a local hospital and is listed in critical condition with life-threatening injuries. Live in Reading at the Mount Shasta Mall, I'm Elizabeth Gadley for Action News. Thank you for that, Elizabeth.